to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. Some very important news broke over the weekend. Wait for it. Chris Evans got married. I'm gonna kill myself! I know that's not what you were expecting, but that is what we're gonna talk about today. I promise there's an important message in there. Chris Evans married his girlfriend, Alba Baptista, over the weekend in a small private ceremony in their home, which I love. Apparently the guest list was tiny. They did not allow phones. And I even saw somewhere that people had to sign NDAs before they even went into their house to have the wedding. Sounds like the perfect wedding, in my opinion. If you know me, you know that that is like ideal. Female hearts across the internet broke in unison when they heard this news. My favorite comment that I read <laughs> under one of these posts was, I just collapsed to my knees in Walmart when she read the news. Guess who just fainted at Walmart? 10 out of 10, don't recommend. Somebody else said, Chris Evans is married and then posted this gift. Another one, gun to the head. I love how we're all reacting collectively to Chris Evans now being married. Somebody else said, street saying Chris Evans got married. But guys, we all know how grief works because sadness eventually turns to anger. And people found something to be angry about. And we're going to talk about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Okay, so Chris Evans is 42 years old. And the woman, it's an important word, woman, adult, human, female, that he married is 26 years old. They are both legal adults, but apparently that is not acceptable. One person tweeted and said, Chris Evans is 42 and she's 26. That's factual. Simple statement, but people lost their damn mind. All right, partner, you know what time it is. Now, fun fact, this poster was apparently not even trying to start something about their age gap or that that was appropriate. She didn't even want to get She's 26 trending, but she did because She's 26 trended for about 24 hours. I think they were trying to make some point about the patriarchy and men not valuing older women or something like that. It just sounds like red pill bro material. I'll leave it to that part of Twitter. They started something regardless of whether they wanted to or not. That tweet now has almost 20 million impressions. Somebody quote tweeted another post post about them getting married and said, if your age gap is larger than the number of years the younger person has been an adult, then your relationship has an inherent power imbalance. That's all I have to say. Somebody else said, sorry, but why is everyone suddenly defending middle-aged actors with clearly way younger girlfriends? But that's the thing. It's not some girlfriend. It's his now wife. He married her. Everybody just needs to chill, like get into your Bon Charge sauna blanket and take a chill pill. If you didn't know, Bon Charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every single way. Their extensive range of premium wellness products help you sleep better, perform better, recover faster, reduce inflammation, and so much more. They'll even help you chill out and take a break from the internet so you don't get riled up about stuff like this. From blue light glasses to red light therapy, Bon Charge products help you naturally address the issues of our modern day way of life effortlessly and with maximum impact. My favorite product from Bond Charge is their infrared sauna blanket. I love going to the sauna at the gym, but sometimes I can't fit it into my schedule or sometimes it's too crowded with old men and I just don't want to be in there so I can go home and use my sauna blanket and I know that it has all kinds of benefits. It works by using infrared light, which heats the body directly rather than in the air around you like in a traditional sauna, which means you get the same benefits at a much lower heat, but you still get a great sweat, which helps you flush out the heavy metals and other toxins. It raises your heart rate to that of physical exercise, so you're burning calories while you relax. You can burn up to 600 calories calories in just one session. Bond Charge ships worldwide, offers exceptional customer service, and comes with a 12-month warranty. Go to bondcharge.com slash cooper and use code cooper15 to save 15% off. Again, that's bondcharge.com slash cooper. Use code cooper15 to save 15% off. You can get that sauna blanket. We can all chill, detox, and come back to this story with a clear head, unlike this crazy person who said, yes, Chris Evans is a pedophile. When over 40, you have to start understanding your limits. This has nothing to do with infantilizing Alba, as nobody would say anything if Chris Evans was 20 to 35. The focus is on Chris Evans. Male privilege is not holding him accountable. Me too. This is what I mean when I talk about how the Me Too movement has been totally destroyed by random people online and celebrities who don't actually take it seriously and women who lie. The Me Too movement was actually about holding people accountable and protecting victims who had been hurt. Alba Baptista is not a victim. She is an adult who is getting married to another consenting adult. The Me Too hashtag, the Me Too movement, you cannot just throw that around and claim that everything is assault or inappropriate or harassment. You are minimizing what people have actually gone through. 
That's all I'm going to say about that. Another person said congratulations to Chris Evans marrying his child bride and then posting photos of the two of them during the same year, obviously showing the age difference. Not a child bride. Thank you very much because again, she is an adult now. Somebody else said, I am told that this is literally pedophilia. This one also went viral and this guy said, Chris Evans, who turned 42 in June, married Baptista, who's 26. I would never get into a relationship with somebody that essentially could be my daughter's age, let alone marry her. I know love is blind, but rocking the cradle should be criminal. Yes, rocking the cradle should be criminal. If you are grooming somebody, if you are a 42 year old man and you're waiting for a girl to turn 18 years old, that's creepy, that's weird. They started dating a year ago when she was 25 years old. They are consenting adults, settling down, committing to a life together, and they seem very happy. She is almost 30 years old. She is not a child. She can make her own decisions. And based on the response from women across the world, I think that women of any consenting age would be happy to marry him. I think that teenage girls were also sad about this because he is one of the most handsome, eligible bachelors out there and has been for years. Somebody said the people mad at Chris Evans are like, she's only been an adult for eight years, you freak. Now, it's also important to note that Chris Evans does not have some sleazy, only dating much younger women track record. One person on X posted this. It feels so weird saying X. I'm trying to get into it more because I know that the name changed. I'm still, bear with me. It's gonna take a few episodes to fully transfer over. <laughs> anyway, this person said, listen, I'm always ready to call out a man for grossly dating a woman half his age, but in the past, Chris Evans, born in 1981, has always dated women his age. This isn't a weird habit of his, unlike Leo, so I'm willing to believe that he and Alba have a healthy relationship. And then she listed, you know, all the women that he's dated. And she's right. You know who we could talk about instead? Leonardo DiCaprio, who literally has an expiration date on his girlfriend. I don't think he said it explicitly, but we know over the past 30 years, how old is he now? 50 something years old. So close. We can look at every girl he's dated. They hit 25, they're gone. Oh, they, have, they went in different directions. They broke up. But apparently for the internet's moral compass, it's appropriate because he's just dating them and sleeping with them and then throwing them out. But when a man and a woman who are both adults have a happy relationship and are committing to each other, something that our very anti-marriage society could use right now, the internet turns against them and calls him a pedophile and a predator. Like that is absurd. There are so many disgusting, vile things happening to children in our society right now. Parents are being stripped of their rights every single day and the protections around children's innocence are disappearing everywhere. We are discovering more and more real pedo behavior every single day. And worse, we're learning how people are covering it up. And then when that doesn't work, we're watching as they try to excuse it and then even make it legal. You guys know what state I'm talking about. Somebody commented and said, if a 26 year old isn't considered an adult, then we have to reconsider all of the other social issues going on right now as well. Also, when are people supposed to start minding their own business again? I forget. Right. Because if I remember correctly, there's a huge part of our society right now that's arguing that children in elementary school and middle school know everything about themselves and could make decisions about their bodies. But now an attractive woman who is 26 years old and marrying one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors can't do that because there's some power imbalance and even at almost 30 years old, she doesn't know what she's doing. So get your story straight. And if you actually wanna stop predators and if you care about that, look elsewhere. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.